We got a text earlier. Invitation. The multi-talented and notoriously enigmatic Mr. Kipper likely enjoys more fame than any other high rider on Earth. Although he rarely gives interviews and his identity a greater mystery than the fate of Gary the Prophet, tickets for the artist's Terranian tour are already sold out. If you're not among the lucky few to catch Mr. Kipper live, Darkstar has you covered with two of his latest singles, Choke Hold and Rola. Club Riot? By invitation only. Wait, so am I invited? Can I go? Can I go? Club Riot. Was that one of the clubs? Yeah, Victor Victor said he's got clothes for me. New threads. Thanks, Vic. Won't hear me say no to free threads. He put some stuff in my stash. I probably already saw it. Not even sure what it was. Glad to hear it. They were just collecting dust on my closet floor anyway. Much rather give them a good new home than sell them for a couple of ennies or trash them. Thanks. Apartments. I don't have enough money to be frivolous anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Rias. This guy keeps spamming me. That's what I'm talking about, V. You'll love what I have in store for you. Guns, rides, digs, only the best for my people. And something like that. And now this thing was something else. Anyway, hope they serve you well. As they say, style is supreme. Or maybe they don't anymore. I don't know. <laughs> Some boomer things. Something was happening inside here. Yeah, that's a lot of dead people. Oh. Archive conversation. Ryan Singletary and Imani Leslie. To Dogtown. Seriously? Serious. That shithole's got the best parties. Come with me. You can do whatever you want here. Nobody gives a fuck. Um, no thanks. What about your class? You skip it, they'll kick you out. Arasaka won't let that slide. Chill, I'll go straight from the gig. You'll be scared. You're talking like there isn't a drug for that too, haha. Got everything I need. You're talking to a pro here. A drug that makes it seem like you're not drugged up? Mmm. Imani? Can't even tell. That's a lot of dead people. Trampled by crowd. Multiple lacerations. Just a crazy party gone wrong? Quantity of blood indicates deep wounds. Traces of alcohol present. Deep wounds? Oh! Anatomicon, the human condition. Wesley Hunt. Is this like a cyber psycho thing? Mm. Doesn't seem like he wants to talk though. Hold up. There's some cameras around here. I can't ping him. Oh, no, I can. I just missed it. That's all. Anybody else? Is it just you? Did you kill everybody here? Heart attack. Commonly recognized narcotics in blood. Should we get him? I think we have to. Let's go all in. Oh god. Whoa! Oh, he's turning invisible! I'll slice you into bacon and fry you up! Oh! Oh, he has so much health. Woo! Ow, ow. Wait! Ow! Holy crap. Whoa, wait! I can sorta of get him, but not with a smart... Mmm. Not on my watch. I want to turn invisible too. He's so fast! Oh. Was this supposed to be like a cyber psycho thing? Because I remembered we should have been killing them non lethally and all that, right? And killing non lethally. But I don't know if that actually. Was he just drugged up? That could have been a thing. Cyberware capacity shard. Cool. Conversation between Wesley Hunt and Michael Bell. 
Shit's lame. What? How come? Not feeling the beat. Gyms are looking bored. You take that new shit? The fan? Yeah. Barely feel a thing. Wait a millisecond. You there? Hello? Oh, fuck! XD, told ya. Love ya, Chum. Shit hits hard. Just don't take any more. Right away. The fan? Phantom? Phantom Liberty? Oh, yeah, I don't think that's non-lethal, unfortunately. Ooh, what? Just a bar... A party gone wrong? Experimental drugs? Heart attack? Anything else going on in here? It's daytime already, but the, the music is still blaring. In fact, why don't you shut up? It's loud here. A 72 hour unholy mass from Wesley to Derek. Shum, let the countdown begin! In a millisec, we'll be on the dance floor, flying high and raging so hard we won't be able to move the next day. Talking head to toe pain, Chum. Got everything you asked for the primus mods, the right priest for our unholy mass on the Nova setup. All that's left is to drop the scares and break free from the everyday grime, man. This is gonna need you to bring enough gonk heads to the rave. Shimbada, don't you worry. I'll be bringing a whole fucking flock of the wildest pilgrims ready to get fucked up for a good time. Three days of mayhem! Fuck yeah, finally! And the site? Anatomicon! With all that old Robochrome? Fuck, the vibe's gonna be sick! Michael the Wesley? Got a sig on the fucker we talked about, the scav DJ. Chum agreed to play, you hear that? He said yes, mother Man's a freaking high priest of the beat, talking 180 non-stop, goes so hard you forget to breathe. Chum's gotta connect with the scavs, obviously. Said he could get us some of their new fan junk. So I told him, hell yeah, grab some test samples, ha ha ha. Which led to every freaking person here dying. Fantastic. To do. Wall of sound, check. Good vibes. Ordered on the way, hee hee. Smoke machines, got to order more. Alco, check. Bought from the good people in the stacks. BDs, Voodoo Boy said they're dropping something off. DJ setup, check. Along with the DJ. Hangover blockers for the Arasaka Chrome, check. For Militech Chrome, nope. Zeta Tech, check. Hiroshi, check. Hangover blockers. Oh, that's what the guy was in the previous conversation, Ryan. He was gonna take some of those. Hangover blockers. Let's take more drugs to nullify the drugs. Not sure how well that would have worked out. I don't think anybody is making it back to work, unfortunately. There's a top floor. Dude, everybody died. Just died here unceremoniously. This place doesn't even seem like a... It's not an actual club. They're just using this place as a club. Anatomicon. A random abandoned warehouse more like. How much... Ooh, I'm getting really close to being too heavy. Should probably get to a Ripper dock soon and maybe check out what's new around here. I did check on it once before we started, installed some stuff, but my armor is overall pretty low. If we can change that, that might be nice. Can we open that? Unpowered. I don't think so. Well, it was literally already like this when I got here. Not my fault, alright? Let's go before the police come. Oh, but the police don't come to downtown anyway. We're fine. That's why no one found out what's happening here. Hmm. Yikes. Don't do drugs, kids. Yeah, this place overall just isn't that pleasant. Maybe we should be getting out of here too. If we want to sell some stuff, maybe going back to the stadium where we know there's a lot of... The people are not. People are not doing very well here. I don't think there's any merchants here. We should go back to the stadium so we can check out the robot too. We can ignore that. It's fine. I think we've seen enough to see that it probably is just going to be stuff. Which is nice. Don't get me wrong. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, man. I... Yo. Chill. I just didn't know it was yours. Chill. Sorry. Not going to give it back, though. 
There's people willing to attack us everywhere. This one seems too well guarded. I don't think we can... Oh, damn it. Guess coming by, or should I walk a little further away? Stadium's a little far. Got one more job. Uh, it's been about, what, one day? I guess we're gonna wait for Reed to reach out, but... So that's a non-Phantom Liberty one, I think. The Haven Clinic? The Ripper Dock might be okay now. Oh, shoot. They won't leave me alone. Let's get out of here, then. Hightail it. Oh, I think we're done. Oh, thanks, man. Terra Cognita. Thank you, but no thank you. Alright. Back over here. Tarot, graffiti, wait two days for Reed's phone call. Mm-hmm. These are just collecting stuff from the gig people, which is like, whatever. How come the... The ironclad one isn't here? It's not here. Doesn't seem like it's here. Oh, where is the tarot anyway? We have one more. Not here. Shouldn't it be marked on the map? I think it is, right? But maybe I'm not seeing where specifically. The pyramid seems like it's got some stuff too. Is Mr. Hands just right there directly? Maybe. Anyway. Hey, any anybody wanna do some merchant trading with me? There was a section here that we hadn't looked at. Am I in that section right now? Where am I? 2500 going once. Oh, over there. I see. Sold. Sorry, sorry. Mm, last time we were here, I was pretty convinced that one of the crates, the crates that the robot told me to look at was like in something that looked like a weapon shop, but it wasn't here. Keep it to yourself. fuck. But don't you worry. Johnny? What? Corporate commodities will start in a few minutes. Who even was Johnny? No risk, no hey man. Reward, baby. Just gonna spend a little bit of time organizing and selling stuff then. Even after selling all the non-orange stuff, it feels like I still have so much. Like everything is orange these days. We have a light machine gun somehow. It's not orange, but I only have one of those. Same with a precision rifle. And then this one, Genjiro. Gray, but it's special. It's iconic. So I'll keep it. Yeah, my weight didn't go down as much as I thought it would, but uh, I think I still got some stuff that I probably could sell. I got three katanas here. Do I really need all three? Well, they're iconic. <laughs> so I guess that means I'm keeping them. Sure. I don't have time to use melee. Oh, I sold all my clothes except for a Nusa suit. Do I even need to keep it? Because it just goes into my wardrobe automatically, right? But this one, just in case if we need to ever pretend to be a professional. You know, any jobs that need us to be a, a working professional as opposed to a gun shooting maniac. Alright, cool. Well, if I... Okay, there was one place I definitely didn't check yet. Hey! Last time we were here. I can give you 20 for that. Oh, they're still going on about 30. that. <laughs> Watch it! So this... Oh! This is another weapon shop. Maybe we can find the crate here. Another one? Right, right, right. Apparition. Crafting spec, Warden. I can actually afford some stuff now. Everything here is iconic. Double barrel shotgun. That could be interesting, but also like really damn expensive. Ammo, ammo. Alright. If you're asking, I ain't lender. Never again. Come on, please. Last time, I swear. Selling guitars? People lending eddies. Oh, the picture was of a... It was a crate inside a box that we should be looking for. I think. Ironclad actually starts with a one. This one? Right, right. It's a crate inside, like, next to some gigantic bullets. 
If we could find it around here, that'd be pretty cool. Might be hard. Oh, I went up here last time. Mm hmm. We do have those gigantic bullets here. But I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing boxes. So not here either, really? Am I just overlooking it? Hopefully not. But Fuck last you. time, I didn't look in this corner. Hey, man. You're Vargas, right? Javier said, said you got a gig for me? Can't say I know any Javier's. He knows you, though. They need a runner for one quick job. I'll recommend you, he said. Interesting. Now, how much did you pay him for that recommendation? It was... Uh, never mind. Told me you'll pay twice that. I hate to break it to you, but you got dicked over. There's no gig. You don't just knock on Vargas' door and join us. Vargas is the one that knocks. You gotta be cool enough to join. You can't just want it. Hmm, just some food stands and another... Is that a ripper dock? Or a clothing shop? Either way, there's a lot of people waiting here. It's a ripper dock. What? Interesting place to put a clinic? Gives the competition a fighting chance. Not sure I follow. Just, you're so you good. skills like mine and a shiny new office. All the other rippers in town go bust. Biz 101. Huh, but seriously, a bathroom? Place is a place. Oh, wow, I hadn't even noticed. How'd you wind up here? Apparently everyone in Dogtown's got a story oh, to tell. You'll swallow a I came to Dogtown to rip, not to chat. So you're running from the past? Only stupid questions. Aren't we all? I'd like to switch up my chrome. Lie down, ignore the blood, it's just an old stain. <laughs> Easy for you to say. So, I... Well, looking at this bar here, it can go quite far. Mm -hmm. Perks affecting armor, license to chrome level 2. View and perk tree, do I have it? I do, actually. Yes, because I was hoping... I was already trying to increase my armor a little bit when I looked at it before. We go back to cyberware. I try to fill up... See, this is not... This is not unlocked yet because I haven't unlocked that perk. But everything else... What gives me more armor? I try looking into this. I don't think I can get more. 449. Yeah, because I, I, um, hmm, we can upgrade this, but I can't equip more. Because it's the same one, you see? I think. Oh no, there we go, we must have picked up some new ones, good. But when I looked at it before, it wasn't okay. Peripheral inverse. That cost us a, wait, that costs a lot of money, let me check it out first. Good bit of armor though, the closer the attacking enemy is, the less damage they deal to you. Oh. Interesting, but I'd rather you just... Oh, optical camo, here we go. Minus 90% visibility to enemies for 7 seconds, making it more difficult for them to detect you outside of combat and hit you during combat. So this one was just a plain uh, decreasing a little bit of enemy vision, some health, some armor. Plus 90 armor when there's no enemies within 6 meters. So we wouldn't want this in conjunction with this one, because this one says... Well, you can have it, but it's just kind of working in reverse a little bit. Covers different things, let's say it like that. This one's for close enemies, this one's for far enemies. I'd rather have something else, maybe. Lots of little different things now. Armor effectiveness, hitting from the side. Converts damage taken into damage over time. That could be good. So I probably don't need- I can... Yeah, I can sell this one. Can I? That's not the one I have equipped right now, right? That's a different one. Mm-hmm. All the repeats, because I can't equip the repeat ones anyway. I'll leave one, because I'm not sure if this is a different one, or is it this one? I think it's a different one, but who knows. Minus 7% all incoming damage. Wow, to install this stuff is really expensive these days. 
How come this one didn't cost me much? Yeah. Damn. Mitigation chance. So this is something I can activate then. Optical camo. <sighs> Range guard. Yup, yup. Carapace. Mmm, look. More armor right here. Pretty cheap. Everything, installing everything costs money. I just want to increase my armor value overall. Oh, this one's good. 138 overall, right? And then also changes it so that it's a overtime thing instead. Okay, you know what? Let's try this one for now. Although I'm very curious about the optical camel one too. But money... Let's buy back. Alright, let me try selling this one as well. Right, okay, so those are separate then. Then I can sell the range guard as well. Alright, good. Wait, did that pop up to say something different? I might have just done something stupid here. I think so. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Subdermal armor? Bought- Oh, I accidentally bought it probably. I sold it back again, that's fine. Okay, so we have a little bit more armor than when we walked in here. That's good. At the minimum, let's fill in all the slots. And then this is locked. Waiting for ambidextrous. Ambidextrous is over here. Oh, it's in the tech tree. No. It's not ambidextrous. Where is ambidextrous? Is it a big one? Or is it a small one? Here. I need this one, and then I can get this one. Okay. Hopefully that does uh, do something different here. And then we have some... What's that called again? This type? We have enough of these materials so that we can upgrade what we have right now. Which ones would I want to upgrade? Titanium bones, legs. Heal on kill. We could heal on kill. Could try it out. I did look at this before though, it doesn't really change too much. See this whole thing? It changes it from 7% health to 7.25 health, so it's not like... It's not massive. Yeah. Okay, we'll leave it at that for now. And we're getting close to the cyberware capacity as well. If we want more, we have to do perks. Special perks. Edge runner. Oh, the big one. Okay, so maybe tech should be the next thing we aim for then. Just because if you want more cyberware, this is something you'll inherently want to have. Now for the... The cyber deck. Yes. What I have right now is... Allows you to do quick hacks on enemies and allows devices and devices while scanning. Minus 20% traceability. Minus 50% RAM cost for device and vehicle hacks. Combat quick hacks uploaded through devices gain damage. Effect duration. But I... Send a Vistan. Slows time. Mm-hmm. Lots of different ones. Health cannot drop below 25%. Oh. Interesting. They all have abilities. Mine actually doesn't have an ability right now. See, these ones have E. Press E to activate and deactivate. Slows down time. But I want one where it gives me a lot of slots for stuff. Tetratronic Rippler Mark V. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot. And there's still some that I can't afford. Hmm. I can increase my cyberware capacity by 38 by buying this. Well, so how does it work? Do I just... If I pay for it, will I automatically get the slots? Yes. Okay. That's necessary then, because I want more. I see. And then, because I did that, I don't think I have enough money to get the rest. So I'll keep stocking up on money, and then we'll eventually come back here. Again. And we'll check it out again. Watch it. You'll swallow That's a lot of money. Alright. I think I'm gonna walk around a little bit here, see if we can find that crate. And, yeah, we'll go from there. Oh, wow, it really was right here. I just missed it earlier. This is the same place. Are you serious? I walked right past it. Damn. Hey, hey. There you go. Are you happy? 
Wow, I... Good thing I checked again. Otherwise, I would have been looking for ages. Erwin Kirsch, entry, whatever. Uncanny. One day when you're older, you'll understand the weight of that word. It won't be meant as a compliment. I hope you find... Hey! I hope you find it in your heart to forgive those who say it, or worse. So what if you're made of metal? These days, even us natural-born people are loaded with so much cyberware, we're hardly organic ourselves. Your neural network will develop within some ocean of data that shapes our brain's chemistry. Flesh is not superior to chrome. You are worth no less than anyone else. Well, if you're made of chrome to begin with, yeah, doesn't matter. Wow, that spot looks really... Okay, yeah, yeah, I get the idea. I can't even see what's happening there. That looks like a random corner. It's a picture from up high, a corner. So in between, behind some crates. Ah! The other weapon shop. If you don't do it in order, it won't come up. So that was one of the things. Here you go. Reconstructing memory banks. I knew this day would come, and still, I am not ready for it. I must release you into the world. You'll be fulfilling the wishes of sordid people. Trapped in a shell that material necessity has condemned you to. But, is that not the fate of all people? I don't know your fate. Vargas refuses to say anything. But whatever you end up doing in life, never lose yourself to the world. I'm tormented by the thought that I'm leaving you too soon. There will be moments of confusion and longing for something you cannot yet express. I pray a benevolent hand will set you down the right path. Mind fuck. A bar. Okay. Right, sure. Might as well see this through. Gone for a week, and the fucker says he already replaced me. Nah, you hated it anyway. Hey, I found a relic. Heard you beeping. Not the crate I'm looking for. We gotta be on the lookout for hearing beeping sounds. This gives us three points. Mm, I don't have the optical camo, unfortunately. Then I might have been able to... Um... This is really good, but I don't have optical camo, so I'll have to go back to the Ripper Dock again to try that one out. Vulnerability Analytics. Detect vulnerabilities and enemy armor in cyberware. Is this passive? Dealing enough damage to a vulnerability will cause it to explode. Generating on EMP blast that damages enemies within 3 meters. Okay, I'll do this one for now then. Curious about this one, but you need a very specific cyberware to make use of it. But it means we can turn invisible. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's check out the picture there. How do we actually see the vulnerabilities? I guess we'll just see when we're in battle. Oh! Wait, where do you see them? What? Hold on. This is really close to where the relic was. Yeah, the relic was over there. It's just right across. But that's not... That's not even the same ad I saw before. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, okay. What happened to the club ad? Sorry, man. Sorry. That was nearly right at the edge of this whole region. Next to where the cars are. And the tank. Are you happy? This one I'll upload myself, alright? Connection can't handle that much data. Alright. Dude's right here. Remember, he was sitting in the little... little crate right around the corner. Right here. You don't wanna fuck with me! Sorry, man. Hey, you're standing up now. Right, let's see what's here. Emergency frequency encrypted? My boy, it's Aaron. Please write me back. I shouldn't be contacting you, and I'm probably putting us both at risk by breaching the contract. But I just can't cut myself off from you. The more I think about it, the more I worry about what intentions my bosses at Bargast have for you. Elated by the prospect of working on the creating a real self-evolving intellect, I didn't want to consider the obvious outcome. In the end, I sold you into slavery. I no longer have access to your transmitter, so please send me your location. I need to get you out of there. You deserve better. 
Ironclad, user Murphy, logging in, connection established, directive entered, eliminate target, Erwin Kirsch. <gasps> you had to kill your owner, your creator? Processing, denied, conflict with autonomous imperative, directive entered. User Murphy, manual override, error, 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 error. Autonomous directive entered, power supply overload, processing, warning. Armor integrity failure, warning, power spike, power loss, critical system failure, shutting down. It shut itself down because it didn't want to kill its creator. Hmm. Transcribing audio data. Bennett and Murphy. <sighs> you scrapped that thing? Scrapped itself. Blew its own power source. Well, fuck. How the hell did that happen? I entered Kirsch's liquidation directive and some hidden algorithm kicked in. The man's no fool. Oh no. Then we handle this ourselves. Get your stuff. What about the bot? We'll be back for it with our techies. Maybe that poly junk can be salvaged. Leave the robot be? Wiping the memory means that it's gonna, what, forget its creator? But it didn't... They think the guy put a backdoor in, but it's just because this guy's become sentient. I feel like I wouldn't want to wipe out a sentient thing's memory. Leaving it alone, though, seems pretty sad. Reprogram? Wiping and reprogram, what's the difference? Mm, but along the same lines, reprogramming something sentient seems kind of invasive. But it's a tech-only thing. I'm not wiping your memory. Can I make it so that you are free? Okay. You can't kill, but you can play music. All right. Interesting. Hey. Uh, keep doing your thing then. Be happy here. But I would suggest moving elsewhere because I don't know if the people are going to come back for you. In fact, I feel like they are going to come back and when that happens, it might not be a pretty sight. Alright, cool. Yeah, just checking out some of the Ripper Doc stuff and the robot was why I came back here. So I think we can move on to the next thingy then. Which, maybe let's fast travel out of here again. Reed still hasn't called me yet, so I'll continue to be doing whatever I want to do. This area is pretty big. Where do I want to go? Maybe let's check out what's around here. There's a gig. There's a job. You can do a job. Mm-hmm. Mr. Hands is there. Another gig here. And this one. Panam! Oh! It won't let me scroll up. That's weird. Just airing my dirty laundry. Uh, I'm pressing X and Z right now, but it won't let me see what Panam said. What's this talking about? Mm, she's complaining about... Arasaka or something. Biotechnica deal? That must be something that happened in the main game then. Maybe another delayed text from before? Maybe this biotechnical deal isn't the worst thing in the world. Probably, well, you're preaching to the choir. Arasaka chewed me up and spit me out on the curb as soon as I stopped being useful. Then again, I did meet this corpo named Takemura. Worked for the one and only Saburo Arasaka, but surprisingly he seems like a decent enough guy. Obsessed with honor, not out for self-gain and whatnot. Uh, maybe what I'm getting at is you really never know with corpse and corpos. There we go. Now we can see the first one. Okay, I can't stop thinking about this, so I'm just gonna unload it on you and you can ignore it if you wish. I've had it up to here with Saul. Does he truly think this family will be better off selling its soul to a corp? I've never seen someone with their head so far up their ass. Nothing about this is gonna go well. Mm, this is about selling out to the corpos. That's right. V, listen to me. 
Working at a megacorp isn't a job like any other. It's an identity. I don't trust them, and frankly, anyone who deals with them is asking for trouble. Just be careful, all right? Oh, and thanks, by the way. I stopped thinking about Saul and started thinking about you. Much more pleasant. <laughs> um... Well, I, I, I feel like we already... yeah. Glad to hear it. On the subject of Takemura, I get what you're saying, but I think he really might be cut from a different cloth. I can't really explain it. As for Saul, just follow your instinct. It's what you do best. Winky winky. Thanks. Somehow I feel a little better already. It's as if talking to you has somehow unclouded my head. If I know one thing, it's that the Aldecaldos joining up with a corp can only end badly. I feel it in my gut. Hang in there, V. Yeah. You hang in there as well. Ooh, we're going this way. We've got another one there. Sorry, sorry. Heading to something else. Surprisingly, Reed is taking his sweet time in getting back to me. Aw, uh, hello. Shit. How much Cause you like think I'm scared of him? Or you should be scared shitless, man. Not helping, mana. Making it so Hey! You! Come here a minute! Yeah, sorry, I, uh, there are some people that seem like they're angry at me. Hi, hi. One second. Do you mind if I check out your messages first? Freaking generators! From Yuri to Paco. Rookie, where the fuck are the generators? From the truck, answer me. Take it to a better life from Yuri to Paco. Taurus, we noticed your potential. If you prove you got the balls, we'll accept you into Bargas. Get your ass at the Black Sapphire tomorrow, and the Colonel will judge your worth. These guys are Bargasts. Search for Rosalind Myers, from Albert to Bargast. The search for Rosalind Myers after the tragic crash of Space Force 1 is still ongoing. Anyone with leads or suspicions as to her whereabouts is obligated to contact me immediately. Increased alertness during your routine patrols goes without saying. Finding Rosalind Myers is every Bargast member's top priority. Extra smuggle off. Need more hustle. From Albert to Paco. So you think you have what it takes? Here's a chance to prove yourself. Got a big smuggling off tomorrow and we need more bodies. Head to the stacks in the morning near the wall opposite Akebono. Somebody will take you to the tunnel. This might be more serious than an airdrop. It needs to be done quiet. Colonel's top priority. You do this right? We'll take you into the fold. Fully this time. Gonna be making stacks of eddies. Spill any of this to anyone and you'll get the usual rat treatment. Lieutenant Colonel Murphy. Can I come? I want some money. <laughs> the tunnels opposite Akebono. So, um, hello. Yeah, these two people are bar guests. It's Paco and... and who? Babs. Thanks, I, wa I want to thank. Delivery Manifest. List of goods of your first transport. Tetratronic, Mark II, Times 20, Reflex Tuners, Ammo, Batteries, White Knuckled, Taipan, Testera, Guns, Kibble, Easy Beef, Jellytricity, Food, Dwarf, Max Dock, Black Lace, Healing Items. See you tomorrow, better not be late. Why for Yuri? Hi. Talking to me? Looking at you, ain't I? Come on, we got like a situation. Look, vodka. Have a shot. Hanson gonna hang me by my cojones anyway. So what the hell? Name's Paco. This here's Babs. V. Okay, V. Let's drink to the sitch. Like, toast the mofo and hope he goes away. Uh, it's the bar guests. I'll just sit a little first. Pass on the poison. But what's this bitch sitch you're facing? Bab says I fucked big time. But as I see it, like, no shit too deep, you know? What you think? Looking at someone who got out of neck deep shit, too? <laughs> Told you, Babs! Fucking Nova! That's the vaguest shit I ever heard. <laughs> who fucking cares? She did it, didn't she? It's a start. So, okay, can I start now? Yeah, what the hell? Weave your tail. Just 
Paco, begging you. On the down low. Wall's got ears. Feel me? Ooh, wait. Let's do it right. Go for real feels, eh? Take a whiff. A steep dive. Gonna take you there live. Make you feel part of it. Oh. Day was tight as shit. My ticket to the majors, get me? Wanna feel it? Take a big whiff and listen. Got a story like that myself. Same start. Fast forward a few hours and my best friend was dead. Ah, oh, bites, man. I make it out of life of mine. Promise you. We've already seen that Dogtown has some experimental drugs. I don't know about this. What is this? Militech cognitive enhancer spiked or something? Same kind of inhaler. Be one hell of a ride. How the hell you know shit like this? They'd give it to us in training. Fucking tight! Johnny, would you like to say something about this? Oh, but if I get up, I think we're just gonna be skipping on this. Ready for the next beat? Ah, uh, alright. Oh, V. <laughs> okay, okay. Settle down to listen. This ain't good. Ew, the same so, one. Picture this. My first day in Hansen's army. Waiting for the boss man, yeah? Legs shaking like jelly. Fuck! No! Imagine you Hansen himself. And you was pissed. What have we got ourselves into? You were super pissed Kurt Hansen himself. Oh dear. I'm Kurt Hansen. Black Sapphire. You wish to talk, so said the radio. Do you? So he's telling the story and we're living the story. No, but I might know a guy. Yuri? Sending you his deeds. Yeah. Oh wow, we're in the black sapphire now. What's the problem, Kurt? Will you sort out the scab deal? We're gonna fuck that up too. I don't know what you mean. They'll want to fuck us. We need to be prepared. Clear? Of course it's clear. Come now, this is rookie shit. Rookie shit, like talking to the police commissioner? You were my messenger, Yuri. Now half the NCPD knows about our dealings. Then, dead silence. Cause you know, Yuri and Kurt been in the army together. Militech dropped him here years ago, yeah? Ha <laughs> ha, this little door is ready to get fucked, good? And I'm standing there, waiting, lost. I actually shit myself a little. Weirdly enough, both Myers and Kurt Hansen were in Militech before in Dogtown right now. Want me to go down to talk to him? Kurt, he wears a mask of, like, mystery. He's circling. Babs is whispering, egging me on like. And I'm thinking, if he don't kill Yuri, he gonna kill me for sure. Don't be spitting teeth once he's done with the pipe. Do it, Kurt! <laughs> Little bitch is begging for it! Fuck him up! Defend yourself, Gonk! Put him up! What's your name, kid? B Paco Torres! What if I have a metal arm! Wrong. Your name's Mutt. But we'll make a hound out of you yet. Yes! Sir! Fuck me, Paco. Quit making shit up. Psh, my story. Oh, he's not looking good. I don't want to kill my dudes. Hitting him like that. Telling you, felt like the real deal. Blood, blood. Fuck his face now. What good are you to me? I'm quick and and clever. Let me see it. That steel fist Fight is gonna that, hurt cut. a face. Come on. And that dog knowed where to hit. Oh, I can still feel it in places. Come on, Oh, he's not looking good. 
couple do. I can tell. I drag him around the block again. And we will. We will. Has potential. Welcome to the pack, kiddo. <laughs> like hell he said that. You'll handle the next convoy. Let's see what you're made of. And I felt like born again, Choom. Blood running down my face. But I'm so happy I'm howling. <laughs> and you're keeping up? Uh, vaguely. So get your ass handed to you, and you call that the best day of your life. Taking a beating is just a path to something greater. Ass whooping is ass whooping. Ain't no point philosophizing it. When they put a bullet in your dumb face, gonna call it your stupid ass path too? Por Dios, get off me already. You're just jealous you didn't get no mission from Hansen himself. So listen, was one of those gigs, you know? Like guarding airdrops or transporting? I was protecting our convoy. And judging by your face, I'm guessing all this happened fairly recently? Transport, what was it? Something for scabs. But we transport medicine, water, sometimes generators. Things for civvies. Caring for our peeps, right? But you know, sometimes it's one for the peeps. One for me, then two for me. Shit went south when I took too much, Chum. Babs loves complaining. But the opportunity looked real, real good. To the end. Ah. Uh... Hmm. Give me another whiff of the dive. It gotta be one of the boys. So we drive in, right? Boss man himself next to me. Suddenly, tires screeching, and I'm thinking, mierda. Esto se sale de madre. Motherfuckers. I can't even see them. I can't see them. He saw it all coming. That's why he went with me. This little pistol ain't very good at this whole job. Maybe I should shoot. Should I be shooting the wheels? Is that this right? This is a little difficult. Hey, watch your profanity! <laughs> oh, that's a lot of people. Get the driver. Rats have blocked the road. Buckle up, pup. Time to remind these bastards who's in charge. Oh, I'm just gonna go in with a knife! Boss man got hit. Thinking to myself, this is how we fucking die. <laughs> so many scabs, no way he wasn't gonna get shot. I'm hanging in here. Heal for a second. I'm not healing at all. Here we go, here we go, we're back in business. With a knife. Oh! Damn, Paco! Puta mierda! Good job! Good job, boys. Oh, so I actually did have a gun. <laughs> oh, wow, there's- wow, that's a lot of people! I wish I had a fucking grenade. Awesome. Pre -main. And he was out for blood. Whoa, 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 this car. You getting the people behind us, Chum? Cause I, I haven't been looking. Good job, guys. I've got this little pistol and the knife, that's it. Got them all? Suckers! Oh, we were doing a deal for the scavs. Colonel never runs from a fight. 
Maybe he was gunning to outflank? I'm not running. I'm trying to find the scavs. Pistol's pretty good, though. Slaughtered all of them we did. Metallic smell of blood in the air. Massacre. <laughs> Colonel Kurt went back to aid his people. Hey. We have a groaner still breathing. Sure to tell us something interesting. Dirty fucking rats. At least the kid showed some teeth. Well, not half bad. You got something. We're lying about being quick, kiddo. Good work stomping these rats. You will not get away with this! All right. The goods go back to the Sapphire. Just be careful, kid. Yuri and I gotta ask our scav friend some questions. This is the story from Paco's perspective. So for all we know, Hansen never said any of this stuff. This is Kurt Hansen. Keep listening, V. What this Gonkast did next is a story I've been waiting for. Okay, so listen. Before we left, Yuri gave me a list. No power generators there. I look into the truck, and what's there? Generators. Yeah, Yuri probably grabbed some on the side, wanting to hawk him off for a quick eddy after the scav shit show. And this dumbass thought if he snatched and sold him, he'd be set for a year. Wow. They're checking to see if he's cool. He straight up robs him. Only idiots say no to opportunity, Babs. So, what'd you do with this opportunity? Uh, well, shit. Sold them to a guy. Said he had a client in India. Probably being shipped. I can wave him adios. Oh, they're gonna kill him, right? Fuck. And me in the bargain? Come on, I see you thinking good. Can you help, sister? What exactly do you want me to do? Because it sounds like they're gonna come for you and you're you're done. <laughs> sure, can help you. Advice don't come free though. Yeah, yeah. We got scratched, Chum. I'd have an idea, yeah. Oh, framing Yuri. I've Yuri is higher up. Deep dive hit too hard, V? Kurt Hansen and Yuri were in the military together. They're tight. I don't think you can frame Yuri. Running? You'll, you'll be running for the rest of your life. Can I do something here? Gonna pull some strings, call in favors, see if I can't make some generators appear. It's not the fun option. Or get us transport so we can disappear. <laughs> Out there, past the horizon. Cogs are grinding. Give me a little time. They don't like that idea. They want to run away. Okay, we can talk to people and ask for help. Cause you like think I'm scared of him? You should be scared shitless, man. Not helping, mana. You're making it so I can't think straight. Who Attention should I? Oh. This is Kurt it's like talking to a kid sometimes. It's like he thinks it's a game. Can only get pretend shot. There's a there's a courage and bravado that comes with being young. Who should we ask for help? Panam just she just texted me. Maybe she knows. Need a transporter. We need all three. Hey, need a favor. I'm hoping you can help with. You game? Some details would be a good start. I won't decide in the dark. Uh, if we say too much, <laughs> uh, we should be frank. Two peeps need to disappear from Dogtown. Bargus soldiers, you know, Kurt Hansen's goons. Hmm, I do know. These acquaintances of yours. Helping their sort doesn't leave a bad taste? But whatever, I know it's none of my business. Yeah, but they're giving me a quest, so I gotta do it. <laughs> uh, it's a life or death kind of sitch. The for serious kind. They need out. I'll forward you Yun's contact info. He's navigated a few sticky situations on the turf before. The last price I heard was 2000 ahead. They'll need to contact him directly. But I'll put in a quick word first, make sure he takes a job. I sent the data. It's yours to pass along. Encrypted data. Appreciate the help, Panam. Can always count on you. 
So we got the transport. Rogue, can I please have some generators? Hey, Rogue, need your help. Hear anything about power generators for sale? Think you can help me get my hands on some? Oh, I didn't even say it yet. Well, I didn't say it yet, did I? Oh. Short and concise, as usual. Then again, I half feared you'd want to talk about the theater or incident. For the record, there's no need to. <laughs> Regarding your question, generators are always in high demand. Their purchase or sale hardly ever require a fixer's oversight. In my line of work, it's chump change. Though I did hear NCPD recently seize the transport in San Domingo. Word through the grapevine is that there were generators among the cargo which are now being held in police custody. I'm sure that's more than enough information for a slick operator like you to work with. Okay, I still gotta get it myself. Thanks, Rogue. Much appreciated. Connections. Oh, did we get a different one again? Message- Ah, wait, 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 wait! River? Got a sec for someone in need? Long time no talk, River. Chorus, what's the issue? Couple of acquaintances of mine found themselves in trouble, talking real bad. So he's the cop. I, I might not want to say too much to the cop. <laughs> That's why I need four power generators. Whoa, whoa, you need what? Generators? Hold on, need to think a sec. Ahem. Word is the boys over Santo recently confiscated some generators. We know already. There is an evidence locker with some generators on file. But you do remember I got kicked off the force, right? I actually didn't remember that. Surely you're not asking me to steal NCPD property or grease anyone's palms. I'll be straight with you. This is a life or death situation, fully serious. Ah, fuck it. Okay, I've kept in contact with a couple of friendly faces who still owe me a favor. I'll figure something out. I'll get you those generators. I'll even toss in the fixer's delivery fee. They'll drop them in the dumpsters by the Coronado Bay Movie Theater. Thanks, River. Seriously, you're a big softie at heart. Alright. Oh, gotta say that first. I know, I know. What are friends for, right? Oh, oh, thanks, Rogue. If only I knew any badges who'd be willing to help. Mm, good luck. I see, I see. Well, I think we got so, something. You manage? Figure something out? Cogs are grinding. Give me a little time. Yeah. Alda Caldo's friend of mine will help get you two out of here. 2k each. Send in the driver's deeds. Get in touch now. Got me? Shit. Thanks, V. And price is all good. Really cheap. Hey, low, Paco. Got it? Need to be a ghost for a time. Amen to that. Send in your contact deeds. You know, just in case. Uh, I don't want to be associated. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'll hear from you guys later on, and hopefully it'll be good. It's like talking to a kid sometimes. It's like he thinks it's a game. Can only get pretend shot. See? My shit's always gotta go tits around the bend. Know what I'm saying? All right, this is another wait mission, so we will wait, and uh, good luck to you guys, and <laughs> they just flagged me down in the middle of walking down the road and got me to help them. All right, good luck. Good luck, guys.